Good morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And today I took one of these vintage lamps that someone had put out on trash day. And I brought it in the house, cleaned it off thoroughly. First I made sure that it worked. I plugged it in and put a light bulb in there. And I turned it into this. And I will show you guys how you can do this too. So the first thing I did was I took some tool. This wasn't ribbon, I actually got some material. And I wanted to gather it around the center so I glued the top a little bit wider. I used some fabric glue and I cut the edges and I just glued it around the top and the bottom And I ended up using two pieces. I gathered it in the center and tied a little bow. And I tried to get some flowers that kind of matched the napkins that I want to use for the decoupage. And I cut the ends off and I glued those in the center. And I just played around with a couple of the flowers seeing where I wanted to place them. I ended up just going with one and a few leaves around here hot gluing those on there. And then I strung some pearls myself. These are glass pearls. All of these uh, project products are available on my website. And I just wanted some pearls on the surface of this, so I hot glued those. And now the lampshade is all ready to go. And now to get back to the lamp, I took 91% alcohol, wiped the whole thing down, I glued those side pieces back on. You don't need to see all that. And then I used chalk paint in white and I covered the whole surface. You guys know I love chalk paint to go under decoupage. Now what I did was I took a napkin that had somewhat of a circular pattern to it and I cut the napkin out. You don't want to separate the napkin before you cut it. And when you're cutting napkins, it's really helpful to use this type of a decoupage scissor. It's sharp, it's small, and it's curved, and it really gets into those tight spots. Now, because this napkin is almost circular, and I wanted to go around this base of the lamp, I folded the napkin in half as best I could, and then I lined it up so that it would look like it was just still one solid napkin. And I just used the decoupage scissors and I cut this center piece out on both sides. I had to keep chipping away at it a little bit, a little more each time, until I was able to line the pattern up to make sure that this is the way I wanted my pattern to go. And I was really happy with this. So, and the napkin is still not separated. And what I did was once I was done with that, I took my decoupage glue and I'm doing a dry decoupage today. I covered just the surface of this table because that's where I'm putting the napkin. And I, I'm also using a chalk paint brush. You just wanna wash that in hot soapy water when you're done. Now you wanna let this dry completely. And when it's dry, you're going to take a craft iron. That's a larger head on the surface of this, also available on my website. And I put it on high. You can use a regular iron or a craft iron, which, I'm sorry, not a craft iron, a travel iron. They tend to be smaller. And some parchment paper. The only problem with irons is they all have different settings. The If you put some on cotton, they're cotton. Some are really hot and too hot. <laughs> so uh, just to be on the safe side, I used this craft iron and I took the napkin and separated it. I put the parchment paper over the napkin so that I would not burn the napkin. And in essence, what you're doing is melting the decoupage glue, remelting it so that the napkin now adheres to it and it adheres nice and flat and I'm doing this in real time so that you can see about how quickly I'm going. Now I'm just going to pick up the pace. I'll complete this side of it and I'll put the other napkin side down on the other half and I'll just follow those same steps and apply the other side. 
it is important that you get as much of this glued down to the surface as possible. And when you're all done, this is what the surface will look like. It's nice and flat and smooth. And I am taking a fan brush because it's very delicate. And I'm going to place a coat of decoupage glue over that whole napkin that I just placed down. Then I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to cover the whole surface with a matte varnish or top coat. And that's going to be the whole lamp. You can use wax over the areas where you did not decoupage. I don't recommend it at all over the decoupage. You wanna use a varnish or a top coat for the decoupage. And now that everything's dry, I'm going to be using a matte varnish. Sorry, that's a little blurry. And I'm going to cover my whole lamp with this, not the shade, but everywhere where I've put chalk paint, I am using this top coat or a varnish. I will put a couple of coats on it. And this is used for protection. You want to make sure you can put cups or books or things on top of this and it won't get scratched up. It won't warp. It protects all of your work. So you want to go with a good water-based top coat or varnish. My website goes through Amazon and it really helps me out when you go through my website, but all of the same features apply like Amazon Prime or free shipping over $35. And I'm going to let this dry. And finally, here's our completed project. That is one of my favorite things to do. I found this poor broken down lamp. I just used a little bit of glue, decoupage, and a few craft items up top there for the lampshade. And now I have something that is adorable and functional, and I'm going to put it up in my bedroom right near this sunny little window where I can sit down and read a lot. And in the meantime, thank you so much for your lovely comments and compliments. I'm always here to help you out when I can. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. Thank you for subscribing. That's a big help to me. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye-bye.